Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video I'm going to show you something that is bundled into Windows 7 Home Premium, Windows 7 Ultimate, and Windows 7 Professional called Media Center. Some of you may have noticed that there is no Windows Media Center edition for Windows 7. That's because you don't need it. It's built in. The way to get to it, if you're running Windows 7 right now, that being Home Premium, Professional, or Ultimate, like I said a moment ago, is to click your little Start button here and just search for the word Media. And one of the choices will be Windows Media Center, so you just go ahead and click that, and then it launches. Now, I'm not saying this is any better or worse than other media players out there. Some of you really like VLC. VLC is fantastic. Some of you prefer to use other applications to uh, play DVDs and things like that. But the one that comes bundled with uh, Windows 7 is actually pretty good. I always had problems using Windows Media Player 11 and Windows XP to do DVDs. This has no problems at all, which I like. I have a DVD in my computer right now. If I just hit play DVD, what it does is it goes and it accesses the drive and then it just begins the movie like exactly how it's supposed to which is fantastic now because I'm screen casting this I can't exactly go full screen with it because it'll mess it up but uh, once I get this thing going here you can do pretty much anything that you'd want to do with a regular player if I uh, right click I've got the program info right here. I can go to the details, cast and crew. You've got a, the zoom menu I like a lot because you've got your aspect ratio choices here, which is something I used in uh, Cyber DVD. That's what I used before. And this is fantastic the way it works. I also like the fact they actually put a clock on it. I know that sounds really simplistic, but <laughs> it really does work. And uh, if I go to the settings menu and the control, you can. Um, DVD specific here. You can choose your audio and subtitles from here. It's a little buried, admittedly, but hey, at least this thing works. And also, when you're in here, you can go right back to where you were just by hitting the little thumbnail. Uh, when I take my mouse and I move away from it, it should disappear in a second here. Actually, wait, it's not going to do that until I actually play the movie. So if I hit the movie, hit play, now, if I take it, and now it should, the menu should disappear. Yep, there it goes. So then it disappears the way it's supposed to, and it doesn't get in your way if you put your mouse over it. The menu controls come back. Uh, right here, this button in particular I like because I can go right to the guide. If you want to go keep the DVD going, but go somewhere else, you can go right to the guide right here, much the same way as a television uh, would. And you can also configure this to use a television remote, which is even better. Uh, I have nothing but good things to say about it. Considering it costs nothing, and it comes bundled with the operating system, I mean, this really don't have much to complain about here. So if I hit the back button, I'm going right back to the DVD where I was. Oh, also, one more thing. I like the fact I can just drag this here and jump to any portion of the movie that I want to go to. It's easy. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a shot. I think you'll really like it. Take it easy.